Exactly the same during my first ten days. And after your first ten years, you gradually begin to get used to it. Is Hamilton not back yet? I would have been here hours ago. Do you think anything could have happened to him, sir? Uh, something can always happen in this part of the world. Shall I take out a company and go and search for him? No, no, no. Don't get so excited. And for heaven's sake, stop thinking about that Victoria Cross of yours. What you're in for is tramping through swamps and jungles. The only decoration you'll get. Mosquito bites. You better go and see about dinner. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Hamilton. Good evening, sir. Nice to see you back. Thanks very much. Come on. Come sit down. Thank you. Hot? Oh, rather. Yes, sir, sir. Oh, I'd love one. Thanks very much. Oh, well, later than we expected. Yes. Anything happened? Well, I found a couple of gin bottles in Coolaboo's village. When I told him you'd sent me off to his fire water, he said you've got ears as long as an elephant. <laughs> Eyes in the top of your head, and in your back, and where other men sit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that you were his father and mother. But he wouldn't tell me where he got his gin from. No, yeah, that's simple. Our old friend Farini up to his tricks again. Oh, another thing. I picked up a queer bird about a mile up the river. He came in a quarry canoe, but he was not in a quarry. Oh. I, uh, I took him on board and, and tried to question him. But all he would say is he had a high and important matter to report to you, and to you only. To the Lord Sandy. Hello, sir. Hello, Tibbets. Tell me, Hamilton, was this man tall? Well, as a matter of fact, he's very tall. Very tall. I see. Abby Boo. Take the tall man who came with my Lord Hamilton into my office. Yes, sir. Sanders, your black children say you've got all kinds of magic. But you're not going to tell me out of the two million souls here. You know the man I picked up an hour ago? I might. Come have a look. Right. All right, everybody. Well? Lord, I am of the 
people of the offerings. For three days have I come down the river with strong oarsmen in my fast boat to tell you some very high and important matter. Who are you, man? I am Malaba, son of Zaburu. I sit in my father's place, and in my fast boat have Malaba, I... Malaba, son of Zaburu. Yes, Lord. Is that not a lie, man? It is a lie, Lord. It is a lie, man. Samba of Monrovia. Five months ago, you made yourself chief of the Ocaris. Didn't you know that no man can be chief in the river territories without my permission? I knew, Lord. Well? But I also knew that you also knew that I made myself chief of the Ocaris. You knew that I knew because of my magic. Lord, I knew that you knew by your spies were everywhere. You were called the eyes of your lordship. I thought I would like you so much that I would confirm you as chief of the Ocaris. Lord, before I came, the Ocaris were a great worry to your lordship. They were just sheep at the mercy of all the peoples of the river. I've taught all these peoples a lesson from the Ocaris to obey your law. You know that every six months I call on the Ocaris? Yes, Lord. At the time of the taxes. Yes, Bosambo. At the time of the taxes. In a month's time. And you thought it advisable to come sooner? No, Lord. I came to tell you about a very high and important matter. Is that not a lie, Bosambo? Lord Sandy, I lie to anybody if I think it is good for me. But I will never lie to you. That will be very wise, Bosambo. And what is this high and important matter that you came to report to me? Warriors came from the old king's country. King Mofalava's warriors? Yes, Lord, under a captain of his guard. They passed through the land of the Orkery and went towards the country of the French. And you were afraid of them? Lord Sandy, you rule two million people along the river. But there is only one man who will not run away when he sees the ostrich feathers of the old king's warriors. And you are that one man? I am the one man, Lord. Then why didn't you stop them? Lord, because I knew that would mean war. And I also know that this your lordship does not want. That you know very wisely, Bosambo. What did you do then? I too have eyes everywhere, like your lordship. I've set my spies after them. Good. Your Monrovian friends seem very anxious to see you again. Shall I send you back to Monrovia? Lord, everything is with God. Are you a Mohammedan? Oh, no, Lord Sandy, I'm a Christian. Well, I went to a mission school. Well, I know all about the blessed Marky, Lukey, and Johnny. And that other John who lost his head about a certain dancing girl. Well, Sambo, if I try you out for six months as chief of the Ockery, will you serve my king faithfully? Yes, Lord Sandy. Every time I've seen the beautiful face of your great king, my heart has filled with joy. When have you seen his face? No. Oh, little round pieces of silver. Here it is. Yes, sir. Have you got the chain and medal of chieftainship? Lord, it is here. Old Zaburus. You wore this without permission. Lord, I had to wear it to keep the peace of your king. Now listen to me, chief of the Ocaris. You will report to me when the old king's warriors come back. Let them pass if they do not attack your people. You can write? Yes, Lord Sandy. Good. Now, in every village there is a pigeon house with the pigeons of the government. Here we have a pigeon house with the pigeons of every nation. What are you grinning at? Lord, the ochre pigeons here are so old and fat that they cannot fly anymore. I brought four strong ochre pigeons and gave them to your sergeant, Abibu. That is good. Now go back to your people, Chief. The palaver is finished. Lord Sandy, I am your servant. Well, now I don't like this news about the old king's warriors. I passed the Walker Hatry three days ago. Be in the Congo by now.
Do you think this means serious trouble? Maybe. Half a company sounders and two machine guns? Yes, starting at once, please. So embark half company to this jump station. You can't possibly get there in time to stop the slavers. No, I know I can't. I'm sending a pigeon to the new chief of the Ockeries to head them off. And what chance has he got against Muffalava Spears? Well, if it comes to that, we haven't got much chance either. Now, every bull. Yes, sir. Send this message by one of the new Ockery pigeons. Yes, sir. Whose dog are you? I stop you in the name of Lord Sandy, who is not pleased when slaves are taken. Stop me? I am the captain of the Grey King. Nobody dares to stop me. Lord Sandy says, keep men and women till I come. You turn and march in front of me until you reach my city. Go.
What's your name, girl? Lilongo. 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 It's like the sound of little streams running over the stone. Where do you come from? You wouldn't know the place. I'm from the coast. Oh, I know all about the coast. We'll talk about that later. Now I have very high and important matters to deal with. Lilongo. Akoba! Leopard. Stop the boat. Sir <laughs> Leopard, have you moved? Yes, sir. Did you hear it, Abibu? Yes, sir. It's a fire hackman. I can see him among the trees. Right. Bring him on board. Yes, sir. And take him to my cabin. Yes, sir. Right, come along, Tibbet. Ahmed. 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 Did you deliver my message to King Mafalaba? Yes, Lord. I told him that you called him to Palava on the field in front of the pass. What did he say? He was very angry, but he's afraid of you, and so I still leave. Well, I'm very glad of it. You better get some rest. In your servant, Lord Sandy. Honey, come! Here they come, Lord Sandy. King of Palava. I called you to Palava, but I didn't call your warriors. Lord Sandy, a dog of a little chief chopped the captain of my guard. Your captain heard my orders, but he didn't obey them. Lord Sandy, you promised we should keep our custom. It's an old custom in our lands to buy women. Yes, if the woman and the father consent. But slavery I will not have, King Mafalaba. My fathers ruled these lands for 300 years. I'm the greatest king in these countries. My king is the greatest king on earth. And if little kings and chiefs disobey his orders, I plow them into the ground. What do you want, Sandy? You will take your spears back to your own country. And for the blood of your captain, I will send back your warriors who are in my prison. I will do as you want me, Sandy, because I am your friend. But I have nine war drums, over which I stretch the skin of little chiefs who offended me. I know the skin that will be stretched on the tent. If you touch one servant of the government, be it so little as a pigeon. And believe me, King Mafalabi, you won't be king any longer. The flower is finished. Neck. <laughs> the 
British taxpayer wouldn't be delighted. Why, sir? Oh, it's cost me about a million pounds. The war's an expensive thing. Now we've got these girls to worry about. Commission waiting for them. You better take ten men and get them over the border, will you? Yes, sir. I just can't manage these girls. Well, I, I should hear the things they say, especially about Bozambo. Here, come along. Come on, side girls. Come on, all of you. Come on. Outside. <laughs> now then. Has anybody hurt you since you've been here? Don't you want to go back to your fathers and your mothers? No, no Lord. Oh, well, what do you want? Man of the chief. Well, all ten of you? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. He's a great chief. He can build ten huts. He's great enough for ten wives. But don't you know that he has five wives already in another village? No, no Lord. Well, they're old and fierce. Wouldn't they beat you? They, they would, Lord. Lord. Wouldn't they make you carry wood and water? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Well, you go back to your fathers and your mothers. If you obey my Lord Tibbets here, no one will harm you. Yes, Lord. You ought to be in the tent. Where's the tent girl? She has gone to the chief's house to look through the magic glass. How do you know? First day, I went to the chief's house and looked through the magic glass. Second day, I went to the chief's house and looked through the magic glass. The third day, I went... Ah, uh, that'll do. <clears throat> What is your name, girl? The longer, Lord. Well, the longer, you must go back to your father and your mother. The chief here has already five wives in another village. They're old and fierce. <laughs> Lord, I know he has no wives, because he always wanted other men's wives. But now he's even ready to swear a oath that if I marry him, he won't have other wives. But I won't listen to him until those girls live this city. Well, Longo, they're just leaving. Don't you marry him, the longer. Lord. There is a saying in our country. What is it? A lover has strong arms, but no brain. Well, that is also true of other countries. But if I find a man with the strongest arms and great brains, why shouldn't I marry him? Do you think you can hold him? Well, well I suppose I can't object. For long ago, if you marry me, no other wife will ever come into my house. Well, I'll take care of that. But I'm a Mohammedan. Well, so am I. What? They said you were a Christian. I'm a Christian for Lord Sandy. But for you, I shall be of the true faith. Well, you better make up your mind about it. I've got other things to think about. you've been worrying about. Thank you, Lord. That shows that you and Basambo are married. You understand, Basambo? One paper, one wife. Yes, Lord Sam. You feel everything's all right now? Lord, in my father's house, I couldn't have had such great honor. <laughs>
So you're teaching him the killing dance again. One day the old king will swoop down on this country and there'll be a great killing. I don't want my son to kill or to be killed. You have enough money from the government to live anywhere. At the coast, somewhere out of danger. I won't stay. The longo, light of my life, it shall be as you want. I'll have to talk to Lord Sandy, of course. Tell him that our son can't go into that new school. Why can't he? The government's building the school for chief's sons. If we live at the coast, I won't be a chief. He won't be a chief's son. Therefore, he can't go in the new school. You know I don't want to fight the old king. Let's get out of his way. You know, one day the old king will attack the English. There you'll eat him up. Then they'll look for someone to rule all these countries for them. On that day, your son might have been a great king. But of course, we'll then be living peacefully at the coast. You know we shan't. You're full of cunning. And you do just as you like with me. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, there you are, Ferguson. That's the whole show. But it's all very well stepping into your shoes, Saunders. You know how I feel about it, don't you? Yes, rotten. Oh, rotten. I know exactly how you feel. When I first came here, I thought I never would get the hang of it. One does, somehow. By working hard and losing one's illusions? Oh, I don't know. I never had many illusions about human nature. And the work isn't entirely wasted. Oh, no, of course not. Do you know that ten years ago, when we went upstream, we couldn't stay on the deck of the ship? When we got near the shore, a shower of arrows poured on us. All over the territory, the same thing. War, killing, torture. No woman dared leave her village, and no man could sleep safely in his hut. And yet crossing the territory now is just as safe as crossing London town. Oh, so much safer. No traffic. <laughs> Got a match? Yes, sir. All the same. I'd watch the old king in this country if I were you. Are you expecting trouble from there? Oh, I can always expect trouble. I think the best thing to do would be to call him to Palava. And then show as much force as you can muster. Surely that's asking for trouble, isn't it? Personally, I'd prefer to see the other kings and chiefs first. Oh, well, it's your show from now on. I'll call them together for you. Kings and chiefs, there is peace in the land. And no man's hand is raised against his brother. Thus it has been for fifty moons. And behold, you grow rich and... And, 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 and fat. Yes, yes. yes, Lord. Lord, it is true. My people are so rich that even the common man can afford three wives. I have called you here today because I go on a long journey over the great sea. And there shall I stay for twelve moons. Lord Sandy, it fills our hearts with sorrow to see you go away from us. Yes, yes Lord Sandy. Well, thank you, Vosembo. And in my place, the Lord Ferguson shall stay here and give the law to all the peoples of the river. I want you to obey him as if you were his own children. And that you keep the king's peace, lest the great shame come upon me before my king. What do you say, Kulibu? Lord, war is very terrible. But if one mad man comes against five other men who are not mad, behold, they all become mad together. Those are words of wisdom, Kulibu. And you, Chana? Lord, we all love one another now. Because if we did not, your lordship would punish us very cruelly. That also is very wise, Chana. And now, my kings and chiefs, the big ship is waiting. I leave you with sorrow in my heart. The palaver is finished. Go ahead, and Lord Goodbye, Bassambo. You'll be loved by Lord Ferguson just as you've been loved by me. Lord Sandy, you've been father and mother to the peoples of the river. <laughs> In a year's time, I shall come back. And everything will be just the same as it was before. Remember me, Lord Sandy. I'll remember you. Always, Bassambo. Tomorrow will be the old king's country. Good. Our builders tell that will produce enough alcohol to make the whole of Africa drunk. Do you realize why after five years, the R, Mr. Saunders, just went on leave now? Why? He fell in love. Huh. With Captain Hamilton's sister, while she was down here six months ago. It would give me considerable pleasure to teach his black children a thing or two while he's cooing and billing in London. His black children have become pretty civilized. I have a great magic to stop all that kind of... What's that? Sandy. Sandy is dead. There's no war anymore. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is it now, Abby? Oh, it's always the same. Sandy. Sandy. Sandy is dead. There's no law anymore. Oh, it's bad. Any more messages from pigeons? We can't expect any more pigeons before morning, sir. It's a bit dark now already. On. Who goes there? I want to see Lord Fox. This way, Father. Good evening, gentlemen. It's Father O'Leary from that service. Good evening, Mr. Ferguson. Good evening, Father. What happened? They fired my church. They fired the Baptist church, the CC2. Mr. and Mrs. Jackson have fled to Mr. Lowe's camp. They might attack them as well. Just like wild beasts. No, Mr. Ferguson, they are not. They might have killed you, too. That is not why I came. I have no fear for my own life. I came to tell you that those two white men are selling them gin and firearms. You must be quick and strong now, like a father with his misguided children. Like Mr. Sanders would. Or else much, much blood will flow very soon. Sanders' life's work destroyed in a week. here as my deputy. I shall wire the governor, telling him the situation. Tibbets, you will embark a half a company and come upstream with me. You will disembark at the ACC city. I shall take ten men and go on to the old king's country, the seat of the trouble. Ferguson, you can't do that. And Sanders have gone? Uh, I don't know. I do. He would. Ferguson, listen to me. Captain Please, Captain. You have your orders. Tibbets, parade your men. Yes, sir. Down, Sanders. This is very serious. Do you know a man named Farini? Oh, yes, he's a gun runner. Ten years ago, I sent him down here in Irons. Five years ago, he crossed over my territory, but he slipped over to the Portuguese. Well, he's back again. In the old king's country. Gin and firearms? Yes. Well, that's bad. Yes. The whole territory is aflame. Father O'Leary, who knows something about it, sums it up like this. Please send four battalions or Saunders. Yes, Sir John. I'm afraid in this case it'll have to be the four battalions. As you know, I'm on 12 months leave. I'm going home to get married. Anyway, I should be too late. I'll let you have an aeroplane. I'm sorry, Sir John. It wouldn't be fair to my fiance. She's uh, Hamilton's sister, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, the last report of Hamilton is safe and sound. What about the rest? Well, Tibbets went to the Assisi, but they're out of hand. He's lost half a dozen men. Ferguson went over the mountains. What, the old king's country? Yes. What happened to him? There's no news. soldiers against me. They shall die. You shall live one day and then another day, my beloved. And then Sandy will come in my place and he will kill you. Sandy's dead. You're afraid, my beloved, because you know him. But he will come. Sandy, the eater of kings. Sandy's dead. No, he's not. I tell you, he will come. And whenever you may hide, he will smell you out and throw your body to the fishes. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm... Uh, I'm getting out. What the hell do you mean? You heard what I said. I'm getting out. You confounded fool. If the old man sees us on the run, he'll know we were lying. He wouldn't have a chance in a million. Thank you, Ferguson. You cold-blooded swine. White man, Lord King called you. You pull yourself together. This man lied in telling me that Sandy will come back. Can Sandy come back? He can't come back because he's dead. Your voice is beautiful to me when you say that. But if a devil is in your heart, and you have spoken lies, then, white man, my skinny men shall know your voice. I tell you, he's dead. Then I'll send down my fighting regiment to bring me back the skin of a little chief.
did you hear about the death of my Lord Ferguson? Lord, he died like a brave man. At the hand of King Mapalaba. He wasn't tortured. No, Lord, very quick death. Oh, thank heaven for that. Well, we must smash the old king's army before he joins up with the Isis here and the Akasavas. Then, believe me, all chiefs will come to Palava. Hello? What's that? Malakali men, Lord, sending messages everywhere saying, Sandy is not dead. The law is back on the river. won't come here till after the rain. When he does come, and he asks, who chopped Ferguson? What will your answer be? White men, Union Smith chopped Ferguson. <laughs> White men, Greeny and Smith, Chop Ferguson. Who Chop Ferguson? The white man! It is easy to lie to the English. They want peace. If you say you want peace, they will believe you. I can make peace with the English, but don't we lose our honor? We don't finish with the chief of their quarters. Lord, how can we catch him? How would you catch a leopard? You get the right bait, he walks into your trap. Makara! Makara, I am hot for the hide of a certain leopard. Go and get the bait. It will bring the leopard into my trap. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ten days ago, when I left you, your words were sweeter than the honey of wild bees. But, what is the truth? This. I had hardly reached the house of the man who is above me in the service of my king, and I hear this. That the Gombe, the ECC, and the Akasavas are dancing the blood dance. Killing. Murdering. Stealing. Do I hear right? Answer me, Kulabu. Lord! You've years as long as an elephant. My young man heard that your lordship was dead. And that house was filled with a great joy. Well, now they know that I'm alive. Yes, lord. And that house was filled with sorrow. You have brought great shame upon me before my king. And I will punish with great punishment all those who break the law. This I have done with the Nagambi, and this also I'll do with the ECC. And with all who break the peace of my king. The palaver is finished. You're a very brave man. You have made the Alcades the bravest people in the river. And helped me punish the others. You've been my friend. Thank you, Lord Sam. How's your wife? Lord, she's a pleasant sight. And a great cook. <laughs> a miracle. My son grows straight like a palm tree. And my little one, like this. <laughs> That's splendid. Lord Sandy, you too soon will marry. Yes, I hope so, Sandy. She also is a pleasant sight. May she become a great cook and bear you many tall sons. Thank you, Sandy. In the spring, I'll return with four battalions and punish King Mavalava. You can take your warriors home now. Yes, Lord Sandy. Lord Tibeti, may you also have many wives and many children. Oh, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> There they are. Hello, sir. Fever coming on? Yes, I'm afraid, sir. I had to touch me all day. You'd better get to bed. Yes, I can. If it gets very bad, keep in midstream till I'm better. Then we'll go up and deal with the ECC. Yes, sir.
Stop your engine when you get your order. The order is we stay in midstream as long as my Lord Sandy is ill with malaria. But Lord, you go now, and if you ask me again, my arm will go mad. Next case, please. If I went, want anything, I'll knock. Tobalaka, is it no longer the custom for the women of the Akori to greet their returning warriors? Lilongo. 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 Last night, the old king's soldiers struck down our guards. And... and children down the river to my Lord Sandy, and give him this letter. And you, Lord Chief? I go over the mountain. Lord Chief, not even an army could get into the old king's country. That's why I go alone. Goodbye, my son. I'm sending you to Lord Sandy. 
will teach you the things I was going to teach you. And who will make you a great, great chief. Goodbye, my son. Luke, don't sit it. Stop the boat. You go below and bring him alongside. Zambos, boy. Yes, Lord. Why are you taking him? To Lord Sandy at the House of Government. But what's happened to Zambo? Azir! Azir, what happened? Why have we stopped? I don't know. Uh, it's a similar activity here. Hello, Tibbs. What's the trouble? Why have we stopped? Dr. Lucas here. With Pazambo's children. His children? Yes, sir. Pazambo's gone into the old king's country alone. He's gone where? The old king's kidnapped Lilongo. He's gone to try and get her back. He sent you this note. Listen to this. Even you could not go over the mountain before the spring. Therefore, I am going alone. I am sending my children that they may live in the shadow of your house and be brought up with the money I have from the government as the government's children. Give me a coat, will you? Right here! Right here. Send Yoko to my cabin, will you? What are you going to do, sir? I don't know. Now listen, Tibbets. I am going up to the old king's country. I want you to take the children in a canoe back to the residency. Hand them over to Hamilton. No, sir. I beg your pardon? I said, no, sir. That's my order. I'm coming with you. All right, Tibbets. Yoko? Yes, Lord. Oh, Yoko, we are going up to the old king's country. I want you to turn the boat round and go up river with all the steam you can get. But, Lord, no ship ever got through as far as the old king's country. Well, this will be the first. Come on, get a move on. Chief, brought shame upon me. I've waited very long. Soon he will die. But before he dies, he will see you die. Then everybody will know what it means to bring shame upon me. Lord, you haven't got him. He's too great for you. And too cunning.
Lord, I come in peace. Oh, cunning one. Where is your cunning now? Didn't I bring you here without a spear behind you when I took your woman? Lord, that is true. This woman is life to me, and I would rather die at her side than live with my people. But if you will allow her to go, she will send you 2,000 gold pieces. Not your gold I want. It's your skin for my drum. You put shame upon me. You shall die a slow death. But before you die, you shall see your woman die. <laughs> Put on some more wood. More wood for you. All things are with God. What's that? I believe I said all things are with God, Lord Phillips. I'll put on some more wood and make sure of it. Yes, Lord. I sent you in the field in front of the pass? No, Lord Sandy, I don't remember. I said that if you touched a servant of the government, be it so little as a pigeon, you wouldn't be king any longer. I haven't heard any of the servants of the government. Who chopped Ferguson? Who chopped Ferguson? For real? It's a lie. Put him in arm. Don't move. If you make a sign to your guards, you will die. Oh, 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 oh. oh, people, listen! 
Listen. You know who I am? Sandy the Tiger. Sandy the Eater of Kings. I am Sandy who gives you the law. Where are your counselors? Who killed Ferguson? Answer me! Who killed Ferguson? King Muffalava. Here to look at King Muffalava now. He isn't king any longer. And so will I punish anyone who dares to make even so much as a movement against me. You will call your people to Palava. <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> Cassandra. Yes, Lord Sandy. You will send for your warriors and all the chiefs of the lower river. Yes, Lord. Chiefs and people of the river, in the name of my king, I will give you a new king. Not one who will destroy his people with wars. But I will give you a king who will make you a rich and great nation. A king who is wise and cunning. Who will keep the peace and treat all men equally. Assemble. Chiefs and people, will you obey your king, Bosambo? Yes. 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 yes! Hello, Bosambo. You are king of the river. Your new people like you. I hope when I come back in 12 moons, they will still like you. Lord Sandy, I've learnt the secret of government from your lordship. You have? It is this. A king ought not to be feared, but loved by his people. That is the secret of the British, Bosambo. Go now, my friend. Keep the peace of my king. Lord, I promise. <laughs> Sandy the strong, Sandy the wise, writer of wrong, hater of lies, laughed as he fought, who worked as he played, as he has taught, let it be made away you go, Yigde, and make it so, Yigde, together wrong, the paddles fall in tune and time. Ayoko, Yigde, Ayoko, Yigde, the current swings, the water sings, a river rang. For light is the burden of labor, when each bends his back with his neighbor, so each for all. Stand or fall, and all for each, until we reach the journey's end. Oh, 